Menu narration option is set to off. The Rocky Mountains provide the backdrop in Boulder, Colorado, and if you're looking for the buffaloes, they ain't hard to find. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see, the number 11 team in the country, the Utah Utes, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Colorado Buffaloes. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and just... The give is to Williams. Just willed his way for a couple out to the 35. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast, you gotta have a sense of urgency. You cannot come sleepwalking into an environment like this, because if you do and you make some mistakes, this crowd will pounce on you and seize momentum. They'll give it to the back. And he's brought down after a nice game. And they may have caught the defense napping there a little bit, David, maybe expecting pass on that third down, but because of the back's effort now, fresh set it down. And it's so nice to have a guy that you can give the football on these third down situations and feel confident you're going to continue to move the sticks. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Pollock. Yeah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. The play-action fake. Throws for the tight end. It's caught downfield. And he's still on his feet, but finally out of bounds after the big run for this offense. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. I'll try to power it in. 
and makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Utah! The offense goes as he goes, so really no surprise in the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TD. The give is to Williams. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple of carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game. For example, On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. Complete out of the backfield. Right there, I think you need a better play call. You got to help your quarterback out a little bit because the. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's stuffed after picking up one to the 23. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs, but I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Quick handoff. Just enough there to get it to the 25, a pickup of two. Probably the toughest call on the play sheet. Third and long, ball to the 25. Back to throw. It's rising. They'll run the screen. Nice move to keep running. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. One of the things I love about the... They're going to run it. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Complete downfield. He's all the way down to the 27-yard line, and they are threatening. And this is... Now on the option. Now the pitch. They stop him right on the edge of the red zone and pick up a five to the 20. I think you run that play on second down. Comes out throwing on first down. Finds a spot in the middle. And more yards after contact. All kinds of running room. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, you! The mantra is always finished, and they're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. They'll start this third quarter with a run. And that's a very productive first down play in bringing up second and three. 
Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. The give to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When a running back has had as much success as this guy's had so far, listen, defense has got to cue in. they got to cue in to him. He's probably number one, number two, and number three. That's a good start to maybe turning this defensive effort around. He looks that one in nicely. Good, solid pickup on that one. They've got it out to the 40, and it's first down. And the Utes come to the line with a new set of downs. Reads it, fires complete. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. This quarterback right now is in a groove, and he's doing a nice job in pre-snap. He's reading the coverage, and he's getting an idea of where he wants to go with the football. That's why the ball's coming out of his hands so quickly. That's why he seems like he's in a great rhythm right now. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. What a nifty run there to pick up the first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. I tell you what, with Caught in the backfield. It's Alfred. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. And offenses nowadays, they're really just counting numbers. How many guys do you have out wide? How many guys do I have out wide? If I have enough guys to block your guys, boom, it's just built into the offense. Pitch, catch, let me get a few yards. Caught near the sticks. It's Williams. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough for the first down. The Utes have taken it inside the 20. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Caught near the sidelines. He'll pick up a few before going out of bounds. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. Wide receiver shows motion. Going up top on first down. Quickly complete. And he's just run out of bounds, maybe living to fight another day there. It'll be a loss on the play. They're going to run it. Pushes his way for a couple and gets it to the seven-yard line. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Right back to it. Burrows his way for a couple. He's out to the eight. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300 plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quick. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. From the gun to give, looking for room. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Oh. 
Looking for a man. It's rising. Zings it complete to the right. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves out. They'll keep it on the ground. The clock is on their side. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. Caught behind the line. It's Parks. And oh, did they know that one was coming. They'll knock him down in the backfield. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. the give. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. This is a big pressure moment for the offense too because they've got the lead but it's now third down on their own side of the field. They would love nothing more than to be able to convert this stay on the field, keep leading the clock but the defense, I'd expect them to bring pressure here trying to force the ball out of the QB's hands quickly. They stop him after a short game, probably just wanted to mitigate the the gun the running back looking for room quick timeout called by the defense stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense and these defensive tackles just eat people they swallow human beings when you get near them they're so big so strong and when those guys those running backs come in they just need a mitt they put one mitt on a running back and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength Noses his way through. And they get him out of bounds after an explosive run, just chewing up yardage along the way. Less than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter, and they've got the lead, so this is where you have to be able to run the football. If you can get a hat on a hat up front and just give these running backs a crease, they can get you the yards necessary to end this game. They'll use the timeout. Six seconds left on the clock. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know what's great about rivalry games? Each side hates every wretched breath the other one sucks into their greedy lungs. Figuratively speaking, of course, and when you win, oh, oh, oh is that sweet. It's glorious to, to be able to brag, to be able to text message your buddies, to be able to post stuff on social media. It's a lot of fun. I think fans like it more than anybody, but it's something that you every year you have a couple games starred. This was one of them, Jesse. They took care of business, and now you move on to the next. They really did. We saw some great individual efforts in this game by the winning team, too. So cool to see some of these players that have had terrific collegiate careers make some of the biggest plays of their lives in this game, in a rivalry game that just means so much. This was a fun one to call. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.